Good morning, everyone. Um, so today is kind of the start of our heat wave that we're getting in northern Michigan, uh, really across the United States. So here in northern Michigan, temperatures will be well into the 80s, 90s, possibly getting into the mid-90s in some spots, and it is going to be very sunny. And we always tell you precautions, what to do, what to help yourself beat this heat, because heat's very dangerous. And so what we're gonna show you today is we're doing the old car trick. So we're gonna show you sitting in a parked car, temperature. Right now it is 10.30 in the morning and it is already 80 degrees. So it's gonna be a hot one today. And then we'll put the windows down, move air, show you the difference that can make. All right, so we're gonna kinda of show you the difference air movement can have on temperature. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this thermometer in my car so you can see it right there and we are currently starting at 80 degrees because it got used to where we were for the air in northern michigan i grew up in uh, or i should say my dad had uh, a mobile home so hot days like this it would just sit it would be very stagnant and it would just feel terrible even on hot days if you don't have ac the best thing to do is just move that air it's more refreshing it just feels better you're not gonna be dealing with the consequences or issues of just sitting in that hot, hot heat that is not moving. Okay, part two of the experiment. Uh, I just went out and got a fan. I did not go into my car, but I looked into my car and the thermometer is pretty much maxed out. And that only took not even 20 minutes. Get some air moving with a fan and show the difference when you have air movement. But let's take a look at where we are, where we're at with the thermometer. You can't really see it. See, there you go. So that's maxed. So let's try it now. We get a fan going. Is we're gonna open the windows, all of them. and get the fan moving air from outside. And we'll show you the difference that makes with temps. And then we'll give you the reasoning behind it. It's 11.20 currently, and uh, we're gonna run out to the car and see what it's like, looks like now, temperature-wise, with windows down, running, and a fan blowing. Um, and we'll show you the difference. So if you recall back to the first experiment of just putting a thermometer in the car, windows up, at 80 degrees outside, we pegged the thermometer. Now we put in down the windows and we have the fan going and we should see a change in the thermometer. Reason being is it's the soup effect, the hot soup effect. If you have a spoonful of hot soup, you blow it on it, right? And the heat escapes it, cooling it off quicker. Your body is the exact same way. If you have wind or air moving of some sort, it takes the heat that you emit from your body and the sweat pores, the water on your skin, feels that cooler air, makes you feel cooler. That is why air movement is so, so important. All right, so let's take a look. You can see the windows are all down in my Jeep. Um, the fans going there. Thermometer, huge difference. Check this out. Yes, the temperature is still not ideal, but 100 degrees, is much more ideal than 120 plus. That is the difference that air movement makes in stagnant heat. And that's why we tell you in cars, do not leave anything in your car. All the windows down, fan going, we dropped it 20 plus degrees in this car. That is why it's important. Now think in terms of a bigger space. Think of your house. If the heat is here for three days, like it's supposed to, right? The first day is probably not going to be an issue but overnight lows are gonna be in the 70s for the most part, so you're not gonna see a whole lot of heating inside your house, or cooling, I should say. So that heat is going to eventually just sit and be stagnant in your house. That's why when I tell you, open the windows, get a fan at least moving by day two, day three, it is going to feel much better than obviously just stagnant heat, and it's going to be much cooler for you. That is the experiment that we're showing you here today, and that is the reasoning behind it. So that's the science behind it. It's the soup blowing effect. 
if you have a s air moving across a hot surface, it takes the heat being emitted from that surface, allowing it to cool down or feel cooler. That is why opening windows, starting a fan, you will feel much nicer across northern Michigan, even if you don't have AC. So be safe in this heat. We'll have more little fun facts about weather and heat for you throughout this week because of this heat wave. So be good, be safe. We'll see you guys all another day.